this asshole for free! Die, fucking fuck! Stay cool and we might survive this! <laughs> fucking hell! Fuck me! Who wants a face? They barred the front door. Of course, we were trapped in here. The only way out was through the back, exactly where they wanted us. The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. This looked like goodbye. I'd gotten into my share of bar fights, but that night made me wish for any one of those. It ain't often you get nostalgic for getting your ass kicked by six sailors on shore leave. I know he brought the fucking army down here, but there ain't much left of it. Tony's gone, DJ, Vincent. Sound like a war up there. You better throw some guys at this, or it's all for nothing. Oh, shit! Jesus Christ, they're throwing men at this thing! We gotta get to to see what's waiting outside for us. Well, it ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. <clears throat> the only way my first meeting with Passos could have gone any worse was if he turned a gun on me along with everyone else. I should have realized partnerships start as they mean to go on. I still didn't remember having met Passos before, but then again, I didn't have any friends left from those days and I didn't remember most nights after 6 p.m. Trying to make fucking cops soup. Hey, stop now. 
It's cool. It's cool, that's right. Cool. Jesus, we're in Hoboken, not Kabul, okay? Give me a break. Look, I'm gonna, oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna go check this out, okay? <sighs> Fuck, it's a fucking cop. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> shows up. Come on. I thought about saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. was right around the corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, Scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street, all right? Family, more than once. Yeah, I know. So leave, start over. You've mourned enough. Nah, I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. Yo, I went on the roof. You, I want on every doorway. And you guys, I want every fucking corner covered. About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard. Made a hundred angry grease balls. Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Max Payne! Yeah, that Max looks about right. Max You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Are you not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Drug! Help me out! 
Hey, you fucking dead! Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil shit. men! You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be Lands in fire! No, no. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking. It was what he was waiting for, a chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. It made for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. Scramble away from what's left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there. Gunfire over Hoboken. It felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause.
guys, let's look alive. We're gonna get this prick. <clears throat> Come on, I wanna hear some motivation. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Up there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? <laughs> no, there he is! Shoot him! God damn it! Help there, brother? I need his help. Five minutes ago. You would think you were doing fine. Okay, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. Guess us when they're covering all the angles. to the street. Hidden away for a rainy day. You settling in here? Come on, let's go! Come on.
These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop in me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat in me didn't give a shit. What the fuck? Don't show the blood so much. When scotch won't do the job. How's this look? Okay. Around these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah. You think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, amigo. You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens? You want a job yet, Max? So 
here we were, miles up the Tiente River, looking for what we did not know. Max. You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krashapre. Why'd you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed that little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Yeah, somebody told them we were gonna be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. Just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. Wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a harbor about a half a mile up. She's gotta be there. This is a known Comando Sombra area. You know, if I've been doing my job properly, I wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. Well, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I've been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Light in. Don't go anywhere. Looked like Passos had brought us to the right place. That was the chopper the Commando Sombra used to escape the nightclub attack. If Fabiana wasn't around here, then at least someone that knew where she was had to be. Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. Much as part of me would rather be anywhere else, I knew this was where I had to be. I felt responsible. I just had to fix the situation right here. Thank you. 
I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. I kept moving toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I guessed the center of the maze was in this direction. Thank <laughs> you. 